The issue begins in Nuclear Springs, Nevada, now nicknamed Bannerville. Tony Stark is on the scene and demands to know where Bruce Banner is. Agent Maria Hill explains that Bruce Banner is not a prisoner and he is left to enjoy a day off, but Tony thinks this is a terrible idea and something is bound to happen. When they look at the satellite footage that has been monitoring Banner, they find he has been kidnapped by a mysterious teleporter. Tony recognizes the captor as Pip the Troll, a former member of the Infinity Watch, which has a certain ill-tempered Titan on the team. Stark admonishes Hill and says Bruce Banner is likely no longer on Earth. Sure enough, Banner wakes up on a ship traveling through the depths of space. On board, Blastar and minions of Annihilus look on. Banner is confused, and despite Pip's pleas to remain calm, he soon transforms into the Hulk. But Blastar was ready for this and activates a Cerebral Disruptor, which promptly takes down the green monster. Blastar then holds up his end of the bargain with Pip the Troll and releases a slave girl the Troll seems to love. The aliens let the Troll go, as they have what they came for. The Hulk finds himself on a small rock floating in an endless void and demands to know where he is. Banner explains that this is where he goes when the Hulk comes out, though he doesn't normally remember coming here. The Hulk has never been here before and claims this is Banner's place. Meanwhile, far from Earth, Pip the Troll is worried that the Avengers will soon come after him and decides to rescue the Hulk to make amends. Pip the Troll is able to sense all the old members of the Infinity Watch, but as Gamora and Drax are only good in a fight, Moondragon has the wrong attitude for the task and Adam Warlock is dead. This leaves only one member who the Troll can come to for help. Deep in space, Pip arrives on Thanos' ship and is instantly captured. He is brought before the Mad Titan and demands to know why the Troll has come. Pip the Troll explains the situation, but Thanos is not interested in helping and threatens to once again lobotomize the Troll for causing him trouble. The Troll leaves, upset Thanos won't help him. However, Pip has made Thanos curious about the situation and he does begin to investigate. Thanos is able to find the Hulk in no short period of time and wonders what Annihilus has planned for the monster. In the negative zone, Blastar has arrived. They have successfully contained the Hulk, and it is revealed that Annihilus plans to use the Hulk's unique physiology to restore Annihilus to his full power. Back in the void, the Hulk refuses to accept the situation, but as Banner points out, there is little that either of the two can do about that right now. Thanos meanwhile prepares a neural link, and is able to link his own mind to Annihilus's computer network. In the void, Banner and the Hulk hear a voice saying they are both facing an inevitable death and are shocked to find Thanos standing above them. In the negative zone, Annihilus is pleased. With the successful kidnapping of the Hulk, his regeneration is all but certain. The Hulk has been rendered docile by having his mind kept busy in a virtual reality. But unbeknownst to Annihilus, the Hulk has a visitor in the virtual space. In the mind of Bruce Banner, Thanos looks on at the two personalities. He remarks that Banner has been turning into the Hulk for so long that two people now reside in the same body. Thanos says that such a phenomenon is worth studying and demands answers from the two. But neither are interested in helping Thanos, so the Titan begins an attack. Outside, Annihilus' technicians notice a spike in activity within the Hulk's mind, and, not wanting the monster to wake up, begin to examine the prisoner more closely. Thanos meanwhile explains that they are in a virtual space which the Titan can manipulate freely. In this environment, the Hulk is no match for the Titan, and Thanos begins to torture the Hulk while demanding answers from Banner. During this time, Pip the Troll is able to use a distracted Thanos to track down the Hulk. He arrives in the server room and realizes that Banner's mind is on the servers. Realizing the body should be around somewhere nearby, Pip begins to explore the area. Bruce Banner explains to Thanos that neither of them have any idea what's going on. Thanos almost believes him, but almost isn't good enough. Desperate to stop the Titan, Banner realizes that he can manipulate the virtual space just like Thanos, and together, the two are able to knock the Titan back. Thanos is impressed, but says that they are still no match for the Titan's brilliant mind. 
By now, the technicians have realized that somebody has broken into the virtual cell and is interacting with the Hawk. And Annihilus is outraged. The ruler of the Negative Zone demands to be personally sent in to Bruce Banner's mind. Annihilus appears in the virtual space and immediately expels Thanos. He then chastises Banner and the Hawk, saying that they are here to serve his empire and that there is no escaping from the Negative Zone. Back aboard his ship, Thanos is pleased. His visit with the Hulk was nothing more than a distraction so that the Titan could gain valuable information on Annihilus and his offensive and defensive capabilities. He was never interested in Banner or the Hulk, and remarks they are unlikely to survive the next hour. In the negative zone, Annihilus has found the unknown property within the Hulk he was looking for. He is pleased, and soon, the ruler will be restored to full power. In the negative zone, Annihilus has captured the Hulk. They are seeking an unknown substance that appears within the Avenger every time he transforms from Bruce Banner to his monstrous counterpart. The servants of the tyrant Annihilus force the transformation within Banner and manage to isolate the unknown substance. This chemical will grow Annihilus' currently underdeveloped body and, with the added power of the cosmic control rod, the Lord of the Negative Zone will be stronger than ever. The leader removes his iconic carapace, and the process begins. Annihilus experiences extreme pain and discomfort, but his scientist Baltar is confident that this was just part of the process. The tyrant's follower Blastar is worried, but Baltar says that it would be wise to forget their great leader ever had such a moment of weakness. Within moments, the process is complete and an unarmored Annihilus rises, bigger and better than ever. With all eyes on the restored king, Pip the Troll is able to sneak in and remove the device that is keeping the Hulk docile. The Hulk wakes up, and Blastar immediately knocks him off the tower to protect Annihilus. The Hulk is no longer needed by the forces of the Negative Zone, so the servants are ordered to attack the transformed banner. In all the commotion, Pip was knocked unconscious and buried under some rubble. Using a set of jet boots, Blaster and the Hulk do battle in the streets of the Negative Zone until backup arrives. But few are stronger than the Hulk, who is able to easily rip apart the Emperor's royal guard and drops an entire building on Blaster. The Hulk stands victorious, but this is short-lived as he is suddenly approached by Annihilus. Wearing a new set of armor, the Lord of the Negative Zone is ready to stop the Avenger. But the Hulk has only one thought about all of this. Smash! Annihilus confronts the Hulk in the Negative Zone. Having no further use for the green hero, the Despot begins to assault his former prisoner, knocking him around with ease. But the Hulk quickly gets angry and begins to fight back. However, with the powers of Banner's gamma radiation infused body, Annihilus is now as strong as the Green Giant and is able to overpower his foe. Unleashing a new ability, the Lord of the Negative Zone is able to broadcast feelings of intense fear within Hulk, forcing the latter to flee in terror. Meanwhile, Pip the Troll wakes up, having been knocked unconscious after the Hulk's escape. He sees the Green Giant running through the Negative Zone, with the hulked out Annihilus in hot pursuit, and tries to come up with a plan. Fearing the wrath of the Avengers, Pip knows he needs to get the Hulk back to Earth, but is struggling to find an opening between these two warring giants. After a lengthy chase, the Hulk decides that he has had enough running, and manages to knock Annihilus down, distracting the Dictator long enough to interrupt the fear broadcast. But the Tyrant is also fed up with his battle, and exposes the Hulk to the full power of his cosmic control rod. The Avenger is no match for this formidable power, but fortunately, Pip is able to teleport Annihilus out of the way and manages to save the Hulk. The Troll takes the superhero back to Earth, but Annihilus is unfazed by this escape. With his new power, there is nobody in the universe who can stop him. On Earth, Pip is pleased at a job well done, but the Hulk is... Hulk, and tries to kick the troll away. 
Pip leaves, and the Hulk, still fuming, returns to S.H.I.E.L.D. Becoming Banner once more, Maria Hill demands to know what has happened to the scientist. But Bruce is only interested in sleeping off this traumatic experience. Noting wounds from Annihilus on Banner's back, she orders a medic to treat the injured Avenger, deciding to seek answers later. Pip returns to Starlands, an off-planet bar that is far away from Earth. He finds his girlfriend has left him for Kazar and decides it's time to have a drink. Meanwhile, aboard his ship, Thanos looks on at a transformed Annihilus, and the Mad Titan prepares his next move. Hello and welcome to Comic Island. My name is Arden, and this is the complete story of Thanos vs. Hulk. Overall, I did not like, nor would I recommend this miniseries. What could have been a lot of fun and a genuine fight between two cool characters wound up serving as an imaginary fight in Bruce Banner's mind between Thanos and the Hulk and instead of focus on Annihilus. This makes no sense until you realize this whole series is just setting the ground for the author Jim Starlin's upcoming graphic novel called The Thanos Relativity. And that's a pretty lousy thing to do. Starlin is the guy who created Thanos and a half dozen other popular characters, many of whom appear here. He should have been able to do something more compelling, and the title of Thanos vs. Hulk is so misleading it almost would qualify as false advertising in my eyes. Thanos in particular is barely in this story, and there are loads of other problems with this plot. Maria Hill and Iron Man act like idiots, while Annihilus isn't really used in a very interesting or exciting way, though it was cool to see the guy out of his armor. The art is good, and by far the best selling point of this miniseries. Starlin did all the penciling here, and he did a really nice job at producing high quality art with tons of detail and clever design. This series also features a wide variety of cameos, which I also really appreciated. But the positive aspects of these comics did not help with the disappointment I felt with this miniseries. Considering the pedigree of this writer and the cool premise, I was really unhappy with the end result. Let me know what you guys thought of this series in the comment section below. We also have a website, Facebook, and Twitter page if you'd like to get all the updates of Comic Island. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.